Hello everyone. Breaking headline parody re re report entertainment stories uh, show a woman named Benitez was 19 years old and uh, she was attending college in uh, the year 2002 and uh, another Middle Eastern man, he was uh, 19, named Ajay Mabahid. Uh, he had brushed against her and then he started asking her to go out on dates, asking her to marry him and she said, no, I, I want to go to college, I want to go to school, I want to, I, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, you're not the only boy that's asked me. I, I want to get education. I, w I want to study. I, I want to go to college. And uh, he kept making sexual advances towards her. She said, no, I, 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 I don't want to do it. Now, I've got the whole story. I've got to break away for a second to tell you my disclaimer. I don't necessarily want to tell you the disclaimer, but under the government laws, I need to tell you this so I can tell you it's nothing personal but uh, some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty and everything in my part parody entertainment show is a parody that means don't take anything I say seriously don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. And uh, I want to tell you just for a second, I'm, I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin. He don't get no respect. Seemed like after he deceased, he's been dead for several years. Seemed like the monkey jumped on my back. I'm a danger field. I don't get no respect. I went to buy me a pack of cigarettes. I'm 63 years old now. And I went to buy a pack of cigarettes and there's a bitch boy behind the counter. He carded me by ID. I said, hey pal, I'm 63 years old. And, but the bitch boy still carded me. Then I went to get me a six pack of beer. Another bitch boy was behind the counter. He carded me. I said, hey pal, I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy still carded me. And then I went to a family restaurant to get my meal. Another bitch boy was behind the counter and he charged me full price. I said, hey pal, I want my senior citizen's discount. I'm 63 years old. Bitch boy carded me. You gotta be 55 to get your senior citizen's discount. Then I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. My wife turned gay on me. And one day my wife and I was fixing to make love. She was just laying on the bed, naked in a figure four position, just staring in the sky. I said, honey, what's wrong? You can't think of anyone to fantasize who you had sex with while we make love. She said, no. I said, fuck it, neither can I. So we didn't even make love that day. And uh, people ask me, why would your wife leave you for a black dude? I go, well, I guess she want to get back with her own color. But I was having a lot of trouble out of my wife. She's black and she she kept trying to bully me cause, just because I'm white, you know. She, she didn't want me to say, honey, sweetie, dear, baby. It's like 300 words she didn't want me to say. Every time I'd say something, she'd say, you disrespect and you racist, you, you disrespect and you violate and you abuse and, and uh, she, but, uh, she didn't want me to say, you're president, y'all, us, them, dude, buddy, homie, homeboy, roadie, road dog, watermelon, cantaloupe, she didn't want me to ask her what kind of chicken y'all like, the breast or the thigh. She'd say, what do you mean, y'all, what kind of chicken you like? You disrespecting, you racist. And yet she would call her black bosom buddies, you know, the racial slur they call each other. I'm going to use the word that nickel. She would go, what's up, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel. She'd go to sleep saying, my nickel, my nickel, my nickel. She would call her bosom, black bosom buddies, uh, punk bitch, nappy-headed fool, nappy-headed hoe. 
dog shit, shit dog, shit face, punk bitch, ugly, stupid, crazy. And uh, I, she didn't want me to say just watermelon. She said I was disrespecting if I said watermelon. I said, who appointed you as an authority over me? She said, myself. I said, fuck you and your all your goddamn nickel shit you're spewing out. I can't take this nickel shit anymore. You need to get your ha happy ass back to your goddamn projects with your goddamn nickel. With the nickels, I can't put up with this nickel ass shit you're spewing out. But uh, I got a divorce from her. She was a nut. And I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com. It's a girl recording. She got a recording say, Hey, lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? And if over the telephone, I'll fantasize having sex with you. I'll let you go in the front door, back door, side door. I don't care. I love it all. I have to admit, it got my dingling excited. And then I called the live service, and she said, My voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone and then I needed to generate some money. My brother had bought a 55 Chevy back in 1955 for $1,850. He drove it a long time then he gave it to me and I drove it for 10 years. But for the past 20 years it had been setting up on the old family farm and I put an ad on free buy sell trade anything dot com on that website. You put an ad on that one time and then they keep reposting on the Mars calendar indefinitely until you sell it. And I sold it for $3,000. Didn't cost me anything to put it on there. Don't cost anything to look. That's a real good company. I recommend it. And then, uh, you know, after I got a divorce from my wife, I put an ad on uh, that free buy, sell, trade, anything.com. They got a personal section. I put an ad on there. I was looking for a young girl, 21 or over, to go pray with me at church, go to dinners, movies, and stuff like that. And a young white Caucasian girl answered the ad. She's 21 years of age. She weighs 105 pounds. She got perfect teeth. She don't have a gag reflex. I can hold her head down. She don't care. She loves it all. She wants me to get her pregnant. I want to get her pregnant. She wants to have my baby. She's always asked me, where are you going when you're coming back? Do you love me anymore? I always say, yeah, I love you. And uh, anyways, um, going back to this story, this, uh, this uh, Maji Mohammed, he threw a bucket of acid in Marina's face and she got blinded and she's a Islamic, and uh, she she believes in forgiving people. And uh, they were fixing that. The doctor had uh, gave this Maji Mohammed a, a sedative shot. They was gonna drop some acid in his eyes to blind him. And she came and said no. She don't want them to do that, that uh, she just wants him to stay in jail. But she didn't want him to get his eyes put out. She don't believe in an eye for an eye. She's a, I believe in an eye for an eye myself. I believe that, uh, you know, that the acid should be dropped in his eyes and he should be blinded. But, uh, you know, that's my belief. I'm not gonna do nothing to him. He didn't, you know, he didn't do nothing to me, but, uh, you know, uh, see, that, this guy's a nut. She said that he, uh, he still is talking real angry to her while he's in jail. He didn't even appreciate that, uh, you know, she stopped the acid from being dropped in his eyes. But anyways, I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. If anybody wants to see any more of my shows, type in Rodney Dangerfield cousin. If you got any criticisms or comments, I appreciate it if you put them under my show. God bless everybody.